facts, characteristics, images, and more about the Beagle breed. Are you seeking a joyful, amiable, and devoted canine companion? The Beagle is an excellent choice, but not everyone would be a good match for them. Learn about this intriguing breed's grooming needs, dietary requirements, health issues, and more. The Beagle is a medium-sized, low-maintenance hound that is typically friendly with both people and other dogs. It is also a handsome dog. Before continuing with the video, we would like to tell you about our sponsor BullGift.com. On the site, there are special digital drawings, charcoal drawings, and a special oil painting structure, as well as mugs and magnets that you can stick to your cabinet. You can take advantage of the discounts by using the discount code that appears on the screen. Site address and discount code are also in the description. Now let's go back to our video. It is also a handsome dog. They belong to the hound group and are classified as such by the American Kennel Club. Hounds are gaining popularity as pets. Did you know that the Beagle is the eighth most popular dog breed globally, according to AKC statistics? But would a dog of this breed be the best pet for you and your family? The Beagle is the focus of this article as we examine the breed in greater detail to learn more about its history, temperament, and potential health problems. History because of their extraordinary sense of smell, beagles were originally bred for hunting. Beagles were first used by sporting landowners in the UK to hunt hare and deer. History reveals that a breed of scent hound that was very resemblant to the contemporary beagle existed as early as the 1400s. They are simple to compare because they can occasionally be confused with other breeds, such as the foxhound. The French word for loud mouth is thought to have inspired the name beagle, You'll quickly realize that these dogs' names are fitting if you adopt one of their puppies. He will bay and howl loudly and for a long time when he detects a pleasant scent. Early in the 20th century, beagles were introduced to the United States, where they quickly won the hearts of many families. Did you know that the most well-known of the breed is the cartoon character Snoopy? Additionally, People are breeding them with other purebred puppies like the Corgi or the Australian Shepherd to create more common mixed breeds. They are increasingly being mixed with laboratories. Most beagles are now kept as household pets, but many airports employ them as scent detection dogs to look for weapons, illegal food items, and drugs. Beagle or Harrier packs are still used for hunting in the UK, Ireland, and New Zealand. Since it is forbidden to use dogs to hunt live animals in the UK, all hunts there now take place along established trails. Beagling usually occurs on a Saturday afternoon and one other afternoon during the week during the fall and winter months of September through March. There are currently 55 working beagle packs in the UK. They're frequently contrasted with different breeds, such as the Basset Hound. Temperament Beagles are great companion dogs because they enjoy receiving praise. Beagles are known for getting along well with kids and other animals. They are animated pets that enjoy being loved. They much prefer to be in social situations. Beagles will howl and possibly act destructively if left alone. It can be challenging to train or housebreak them due to their persistent nature and excessive barking. Beagles are naturally curious and lively because they were developed as hunting dogs. They make poor guard dogs because they are sociable little puppies. They might bark, but chances are they'll just wag their tails and make friends with anyone who enters the house. Dimension and Appearance There are two sizes of beagles, but they can never grow taller than 15 inches. Beagles come in two sizes, 15 inches and 13 inches tall at the shoulder. The larger variety can weigh up to 35 pounds, while the smaller variety weighs between 22 and 30 pounds. Beagles are large, chiseled dogs with straight backs and deep chests. They are usually white, which makes it easier to spot them during hunting expeditions and have relatively long tails that carry high. They have broad noses, square-shaped muzzles, and slightly rounded heads. They have adorable floppy ears that are positioned low on their heads. They have a similar appearance to foxhounds, solid and large for their smaller stature, and with the usual signs of wear and tear from a hound's pursuit. 
Beagles and Foxhounds are both medium-sized dogs with floppy ears, strong jaws, medium-length fur, and the traditional tricolor coat. Colors and coat. The most frequent color combination found in beagles is black, tan, and white. The short, dense coat of a beagle is relatively simple to care for. It is medium length, hard, and smooth. It typically comes in white, tan, and black, which are the traditional hound colors. But they can also be found in a variety of appealing hues, such as tricolor, black, tan, and white, lemon and white, orange and white, brown and white, red and white, tricolor chocolate, white and tan. Beagles frequently emit a distinctive beagle smell. Even though owners typically get used to it, people who don't frequently interact with beagles might find it overpowering and unpleasant. Bathing won't make it go away, though it might help. Oils released from the skin are to blame for this odor. Exercise requirements and conditions of living. For this active breed, 60 to 75 minutes per day of exercise should be sufficient. Beagles were developed as working and hunting canines. So even though these puppies are small, they still require a lot of exercise to maintain their happiness and avoid gaining weight. He should have access to a fenced yard where he can play off leash and you should take him for two lengthy walks each day, if possible. Make sure there is a nice selection of beagle-friendly dog toys to keep your pup entertained to help keep them busy. Particular to this breed, pack dogs develop strong bonds with their human family, including young ones. These puppies are therefore not suitable for living in your backyard or in an outdoor kennel. Beagles must reside inside of your home with the rest of your family. A beagle-friendly dog bed to rest their joints and the appropriate sized crate to keep them safe are among the comforts they should have. Training. Beagles should not be chosen by novice dog owners. Unfortunately, this breed can be difficult to train, which makes it inappropriate for a new owner. Be prepared to spend a lot of time teaching your puppy to come when called if you intend to walk your beagle in any unfenced, off-leash areas. Beagles have a reputation for going selectively deaf once they catch a whiff of something intriguing. As soon as your puppy is old enough, you should enroll him in obedience and socialization classes. However, you must be ready for your dog to take a few unplanned absences when he feels like it. These puppies love to pull, so if you want to train them with a harness, start them young. The beagle is an explorer and hunter by nature. When this puppy picks up a scent, he will follow it wherever it leads. Therefore, a sturdy fence around your yard is required to keep them from escaping. You should be aware that your beagle can climb over the chain link and won't be kept inside. In order to stop him from digging a tunnel under the boundary, you will also need to bury wire along your fence lines. You must keep a close eye on your beagle when he is playing outside in your backyard if you are an avid gardener. They like to dig, and the scrabbling claws of your pet might ruin your lovely lawn. Health Beagles can live to be 12 years old or even older. This breed is typically strong, healthy, and capable of living for 12 years or longer. However, some medical conditions, such as hip dysplasia, anterior cruciate ligament tears, heart issues, diabetes, often linked to obese dogs, hypothyroidism, and cataracts, can affect beagles. To help with medical expenses, we advise looking into pet insurance for your beagle. Always request to see current veterinary screening certificates for the puppy's parents and grandparents when purchasing a puppy from a breeder. Your puppy shouldn't inherit any of the aforementioned congenital health issues if the results of the screening go back two generations with no errors. Additionally, never purchase a puppy that is advertised as a rare pocket beagle. Due to a genetic abnormality called dwarfism, the dog may have physical flaws like crooked legs and a short neck, which could put the dog at risk for developing chronic arthritis. Because of their long, floppy ears, healthy beagles are more likely to develop ear infections. Always inspect your dog's ears during grooming to look for indications of issues, such as an unpleasant odor that might point to an infection. Watch out for your beagle scratching his ears or shaking his head, as both of these behaviors may point to an issue that needs prompt veterinary care. Nutrition As beagles are prone to obesity, make sure to keep an eye on their food intake. Beagles are extremely motivated by food. 
By using treats as a training reward, you can take advantage of this behavioral quirk. However, you'll also need to keep all edible objects out of the reach of your chow hound because he'll happily eat your dinner or empty the kitchen trash without a second thought. Unless your veterinarian has identified a specific health issue or dietary restriction, Beagle Dog Foods should be dry kibble formulas. They are very food driven, as we've already mentioned, which makes it simple to overfeed your dog who appears to be starving. Don't overfeed your dog because excess weight puts him at risk for diabetes and joint issues. Grooming To keep your beagle's smile bright and healthy, bathe him and brush him frequently. Despite having a short, sleek coat, the beagle breed constantly sheds. To keep your home, car, and clothing fur free, your beagle will require daily brushing with a slicker brush to remove dead and loose hair. This breed is prone to the pervasive dog odor that some breeds experience, and they also like to roll in disgusting objects they come across while out and about. In order to keep your dog smelling fresh and your home fresh smelling, you will need to bathe him frequently. Use the cleaning solution that your veterinarian suggests to make sure your dog's ears are clean. Clean the ear with a cotton ball. Never use cotton swabs inside the ear of your beagle, and never stick your finger deeper than the first knuckle. If you insert a cotton swab too deeply, you risk permanently damaging the ear. Cotton swabs can push any gum deeper into the ear. For your beagle's comfort and the safety of your floor, you should trim his nails every two weeks. You might prefer to leave this task to a professional groomer or your neighborhood veterinary clinic because not all dogs enjoy a manicure. Costs of breeders and puppies. The price of a beagle will vary depending on its parents, location, color, and pedigree. Always purchase your beagle puppy from a reputable, licensed breeder. A good breeder will only use breeding stock that has undergone a registered veterinarian screening for any genetic abnormalities and is in good health. This implies that the puppy you purchase should be free of any inherited medical conditions. The price of a beagle ranges from $500 to $2,000. Always ask the breeder to show you the puppy's parents and siblings when you go to choose a puppy. The puppies should be vivacious and inquisitive, and the parents should be amiable and well socialized. A list of beagle breeders can be found on the American Kennel Club website. Perhaps you've read about puppy mills. Puppy mills only exist to help people quickly and easily make a lot of money. In commercial puppy mills, breeding dogs and their puppies are housed in cramped, frequently unhygienic conditions. Many of these puppies are sickly, unvaccinated, and some of them even pass away soon after finding a new home. Puppy mills draw unwary would-be dog owners because the prices charged for puppies are significantly less than what you would pay for a pup from a registered breeder. Instead of selling quality, dishonest breeders focus on selling quantity. Additionally, you need to be aware that some pet shops purchase their puppies from puppy mills. Therefore, always purchase your beagle puppy from a reputable, licensed breeder. Walk away if the breeder is unwilling to show you around his kennels or if the puppy's price seems absurdly low. Shelters and Rescues There are numerous rescue organizations where you can find a beagle to take home. There are numerous rescue organizations and shelters all over the United States that house hundreds of unwanted beagles who are looking for a forever home. Although there are some puppies among these dogs, the majority of them are adults. Visit sites like adopt-a-pet.com and petfinder.com. You can conduct a local or regional online search from this point. You can enter specific requests on these websites, such as house trained, good with kids, etc. Another website that can connect you with rescue organizations in your area is animalshelter.org. For information on Beagle-specific rescue shelters across the United States, you can also try contacting beagles-on-the-web.com. You know what you're getting because Beagle rescue organizations are typically very transparent about any temperamental quirks or health issues that each of their dogs has. In a manner similar to Try Before You Buy, many of these organizations allow prospective owners to foster before deciding to become owners. You can then decide if the breed is a good fit for your family and you as a canine companion. If you've ever considered adopting, there are also lots of beagle mixes available who would make wonderful family pets. 
Beagles are frequently combined with other purebred dogs to form a designer dog that produces successful offspring. Before you purchase your next dog, consider the other mixes listed below. The Bogle, the Puggle, the Bee Bull, the Jacobi, the Dachshund, the Beagle Shepherds, the Beagle Pitbull Mix, the Beagle Boston Terrier Mix, the Beagle Basset Hound Mix, the Border Beagle Mix, and the Puggles are just a few of the breeds of Beagles. As household pets. So, would you enjoy having a pet of this breed? Let's investigate. A Beagle might be the ideal choice for you if you're looking for a friendly, laid-back dog who doesn't require much grooming and enjoys an active lifestyle. If you have small pets like cats or rabbits, a Beagle will not make a good house guest because it is a hunting dog with a strong prey drive. Beagles can become destructive if they become bored as a result of insufficient playtime or physical activity. Housebreaking the obstinate, independent-minded Beagle can take some time. You must keep your Beagle on a leash in open areas where he could wander off, even though he needs and enjoys plenty of exercise. If you live in a condo or apartment, have close neighbors, or both, you'll need to be home during the day to keep your Beagle from howling and baying. Despite the stable temperaments and generally laid-back nature of most Beagles, some can exhibit neurotic or fearful behavior. Look closely at the parents of your puppy, and if you're adopting an adult, make sure the shelter has conducted a temperament test on him. Beagles are food-loving dogs that will follow their noses wherever they can find some free grub. That calls for you to make sure that your four-legged, chow-hound foraging dog cannot access your trash cans. Do you think a beagle would be a person you could get along with? If so, choose the ideal name and use our advice to locate the ideal beagle puppy. Final Reflections A beagle might be the ideal pet for you if you're looking for a family-oriented dog who enjoys an active lifestyle. Although the beagle requires little maintenance in terms of grooming, training your puppy will take a lot of your time because this breed is known for its stubbornness and independence. Your beagle will thrive if you enjoy going on hikes and being outside with your dog. However, you must keep him on a leash because if he picks up the scent of something enticing and delicious, you won't be able to find your pet again. Never purchase a beagle puppy from a puppy mill and only from a registered breeder. Don't forget that there are hundreds of abandoned beagles in shelters and rescue facilities who would dearly love a second chance and a permanent home. 